Transnasal Endoscopy in Kids by Christopher Chang. A production by Faulkner Ear, Nose, and Throat Consultants of Warrington, Virginia. Here we are getting ready to perform a transnasal endoscopy in a six-year-old child who presents with a chief complaint of hypernasal speech. In these situations, it is important to involve the speech pathologist in order to obtain the best possible examination. The speech pathologist is wearing the black sweater. The child is sitting on the mother's lap. Right now, okay, so I am having the child mouth. get comfortable with the idea uh, of an endoscope. That's where we're going to go, Ethan, because we have to yeah. see you talk, right? Okay. The so best exams are obtained yeah. when the yeah. child is cooperative. Yeah. 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 Okay. Once it's, remember, last time, once it's in, it's like a little bit uncomfortable at first, but once it's in, it's fine, right? Great. You need to start talking. You need to start right. Okay. The speech pathologist will start instructing the child to say certain words as well as sounds. The physician will be focused on placement of the endoscope in order to visualize the nasopharynx. Visualization of the nasopharynx is where we will be able to determine whether velopharyngeal insufficiency is the cause of this child's hypernasal speech. If hoarseness is an issue, I would thread the endoscope further down in order to visualize the voice box. As you can see, the child is tolerating the endoscopy without any problems. Usually, kids five years and older tolerate this type of examination without any difficulty.